Hey guys, RC here. Episode 46, Football Manager 20. And uh, still getting settled into the Premier League thing here. Got a couple of bits of transfer news to let you know about. We've uh, sold Joe Morrell to Hearts for a $3 million fee. Uh, he did a really good job for us when he was here. But you can see he's only showing a 55 uh, scouting summary here. Seventh on the depth chart in the central mid and seventh in the defensive mid as well. Uh, we picked him up on loan initially when we were back in League One from Bristol City and then got him on a free from Bristol City uh, once we had moved up into the championship where he uh, actually started 40 games and then 14 games. One year as a big starter, then coming off the bench, a lot of, a lot of games, a lot of minutes for him. And uh, just didn't have room for him this year with some of the moves that we had made. Uh, Jackie Moore we've sent out on loan. And Ross Sykes we have sent out on loan as well. And they're, these clubs are picking up a portion of their salaries, 50%, I believe. Uh, on the other side, uh, I think we talked about this one. It was finally confirmed. Uh, Gavin Hamilton comes in on loan. And you can see he's made three appearances, has three goals uh, in the Premier League for us, playing a 7-5-7. He scored on his debut. Uh, he has been uh, uh, really stellar up top, looks really good, and he has replaced uh, Collins in the starting 11. I don't think Collins realizes that yet but he will because uh, because Hamilton's going to be our number one striker. So that's what's going on there. Taking a look at the schedule uh, after the initial uh, games, the last episode, uh, where we picked up our first points over Sheffield United. We had a 2-2 draw against Norwich. Leighton Stewart, we gave him a start. He scored two goals and uh, put us up 2-1. Uh, only for us to suffer an equalizer off a set piece uh, minutes later. Then we lost to Crystal Palace on penalties. Aaron Collins with a brace, fighting for his job. Alistair Murphy scored for us. Uh, we were a man down, so our, one of our new players, Uros Nazevich. Uh, I'm, I'm going to struggle with that name. Uh <laughs> He was sent off with a straight red card in the 30th minute. They picked up three goals after that, including the equalizer in the 83rd minute, which was disappointing. And uh, then we missed uh, a few penalties. So early elimination from the Carabao Cup. Not very happy about that. Uh, Brighton, we got a 1-0 win. Gavin Hamilton, there's his debut goal. And Gavin Hamilton, a late goal against Leicester in a 4-1 defeat. So he's looked really good. We have set uh, new uh, attendance records, and it looks like we are selling out. 22,648, 1,948 away fans, 22,648 in normal matches. So, so we are selling out. The plastics are showing up in Moss, and that is uh, doing a good thing for us. Take a look at finances. So we've climbed up to 16 million in the red from our 47 and a half million in the red. And we're doing pretty good. We've made uh, 5.4 million in profit this month. And we are, we're making good profit every month. So that's looking good. Uh, we've cut a little bit off of our wage bill down to 33.8 million. So we've got some money. I just don't think we're gonna spend any more. We are uh, still projected to be the worst team in the league, but we're doing okay. If we take a look at the competition, we were in, after four matches, we were in seventh position with uh, seven points, two wins, a draw, and a loss. And now you can see we've got, uh, so we're still on seven points uh, and down into 12th after five matches. We'll be playing today, so let's get into that. We are playing Chelsea. I've brought in another, I've, I've brought back an older tactic, a flat 4-4-2. We're going to look at that. And then the other thing I've done, we're going to continue trying out the this tactic here because it's a little more defensive. 
but what I've done is I've dropped this from on the away tactic we were playing positive I've dropped that back to balanced and on the home I've dropped it from attacking to positive so we'll see if that does us anything I just changed that in preparation for this match I am still training Mitchell out there uh, because I believe he is a better option and he just needs to get trained up. So we're going with uh, Nomov in goal, Fosu Mensa, Bilotti, McGinley, and Mitchell across the back line. Uh, Marcos Rogerio and La, La Quintana on the wings. Downs and Nazevich in the mid. And Hamilton and Ids up top. So let's see how that goes. We have had two young players. Um... John Cleverly, you may remember him from a couple of seasons back. He was our top uh, prospect coming in. He uh, did not get loaned out. I had him on loan. I offered him out, and nobody nobody put a bid for him. So, well, there's a nice tackle by Rogerio. Good ball up. Hamilton. Hamilton's got some wheels on him, too. Oh, and he gets fouled in the box. Is it going to be a penalty? And it is. And it's going to be... It's going to be Mitchell. Oh, he slots it in. And we are up 1-0 over Chelsea. wonder if Fat Frank is still there. Not a fan of Frank Lampard. <laughs> so, just curious, the... Uh, and I'm not going to do a video because everybody and their mother did a video for the uh, the new FM21 release video yesterday. Uh, but I'm curious what you guys think of, uh, you know, the, what was it, a minute and a half video or something like that. Uh, so interested to see what you guys think about it. Let me know down in the comments. Good job by the defense to push him back here. Oh, uh, Pilch by Ids. He's in and, oh, cannot finish. We have got to put chances like that away. Just have got to put chances like that away. It's so weird looking at a, stand, a red stand instead of a green one. Oh, he just booted that out of play. All right, they're fired up. Let's, uh, let's demand a little more. Oh, Hamilton. There's a touch. Oh, and he just misses the corner. Those guys are looking dangerous up top, I tell you. All right, they break our midfield down there pretty easy. Slide tackles missed, and he's in. Nomov with the save. Boy, they were through us like a hot knife through butter. And a good snag there by Nomov. A lot of action here in the first 20 minutes of the match. Oh, Hamilton, and is he offsides? They're looking at VAR. Offsides. Oh, that was disappointing. He was. I mean, it was obvious. He was way offsides, but... And it was going to go wide. Looks like the keeper got a got a hand on it. That's ugh. okay. Depend. Yao Felix, that goes over. Yeah, we're going to start seeing a transition to players just being unhappy. Oh, Zabozli, I, yai, yai, Zabozli. The Bosley. I don't know. Powerful header. Nomov got a hand on it. Just could not stop it. And we are equal at one apiece. Let's ask for some creativity down the stretch here in the first half. Playing well. I mean, the team's playing well. 7 of 11 shots on target. Certainly can't be unhappy with that. 
and let's ask for some early creativity again. Oh, there's a header, and it goes in. Gavin Hamilton, his fourth of the season, and he is turning out to be a whale of a loan signing for us. If we stay up, it might be on his shoulders. It could very well be on his shoulders. Uh, Ids went for the steal. Nice header out. Marcus Rogerio on the break. Into the box. Too tight of an angle and then cleared out by Demerol. We do get the corner out of it. There's Downs tracking it down eventually. McGinley up out of his center back position. And we reset. No, that's bad. That was bad. Come on, boys. Uh, don't don't get another card. Tell you what, I'm a little nervous on that side. Um, tell you what, I want to go here. All right, we're going to bring Mitchell up to that position, and we're going to bring Wharton on on the back line there. I am feeling okay. Tell you what, I'm going to drop you and you to support. Oh, the other thing I've done is I've switched uh, in transition. I've switched to regroup because we are, you know, we're not one of the top teams in the in the league, right? We're technically the worst team in the league. So I think we're going to be going with, um, we're going to regroup to try to not get taken, you know, caught out of position on counters as much. All right, let's see. 81. Ids is not looking great. So, Hamilton, you are a left footer. Collins is a right footer. Let's bring Collins on there. All right, and while we're doing that, I'm going to pop into this tactic and have the keeper start slowing the pace down. See if we can waste a few minutes there. Deep ball over the top. Keppa comes out. Oh, that would have been so... Oh, put it in. Put it in from range. Mitchell on the attack. Couldn't pull the trigger on the finish. I thought he was going to get taken down in the box. All right. Also, one other thing I want to try here. Let's play for set pieces. Because then we can waste time on those as well, right? Get it out. Get it out. Thank you. Looks like there might have been a foul. Um, boy, that back line's playing pretty solid. I, I'm not sure what move I want to make. I, I may not make any. I've got a lot of options that I like on the bench. I just don't know that I need to make one right now. Oh, my God. Look at that. Ah! Oh! Woo! There was a pucker factor of about nine and a half. Oh, my goodness. Just drifted wide of the goal. Mitchell's on it. He's got a break. He's got a runner in the middle coming up in Collins. He's cut off, and there was a foul. Is it in the box? In or out? It's out of the box. Just out of the box. Oh, we were that close. That close to another penalty. That goes through the box, controlled. And we have four minutes of stoppage time. <laughs> Milk it, boys. Milk it. Mitchell turns on it. 
He's back into the box on a breakaway, and he buries this one to seal the victory. Three to one over Chelsea. We've still got four minutes to play, but we should be safe now. We are going to tell him to tighten up. Oh, look at those ratings just skyrocket into the sevens. And there we go. Dominant performance. I'm liking the tweaks to the tactic. I think they did well. We are going to go passionate. Uh, really special. Very, very good game. Even the keeper got a seven rating. That's, uh, that's, that's you know, what's how's Loki say that? Rarer than rock and horse shit? Pretty rare. Historic 3-1 to one victory. And Mitchell, a pair of goals and an assist. Plus he had four headers and 62% tackles. Eh. Eh, you know. And he's only 20. He's going to get better. I mean, he's still, he's still training at that position. But that is great. We'll be right back for the next match. Who are we playing? We are playing Tottenham. So I thought that was interesting. Mitchell was named in the Premier League Team of the Week in that left back position. So that was really good. So we are playing Tottenham today. We are on the road at Hotspur Stadium. 62,300 and three tickets have been sold. A sellout. Uh, we can only dream of having a stadium that big. But we are selling out, and that's the important thing. What are we going to do today? Well, we are heavy underdogs. They're missing Ricardo Pereira with a broken foot. And Gavin Hamilton is ineligible because he's on loan from Tottenham. You know, this season is really playing out like Leeds is in real life because four matches in, we had seven points. Four matches in this season currently, Leeds have seven points. Uh, we were seventh in the table. Leeds is seventh in the table. They might actually be sixth, uh, but they are in your Euro European plate position. And uh, we played, we just played Man City and had to go without Jack Harrison because he was on loan from them. And here we are having to go without our top striker being going up against his parent club. So interesting, interesting analysis there. Uh, and you guys are probably like, who cares? I get you. All right, Collins is going to step into the starting lineup here. Uh, Downs, Konevich, uh, Kene Konezovich, wow. I got to make, make a policy just to sign names I can pronounce. Uh, I do want Mitchell back on the field back here and Wharton to the bench. So basically, you know, it's our starting lineup with, with the one exception. I wouldn't mind. So Stewart came to me prior to the last match, and I did try to sell him at the end of the season. No current concerns. He's hoping to leave the club in the near future. He's lost his negative status. I'm going to try to offer him another contract. But he came to me, and I haven't, I haven't gotten this before, but he came to me and said, I'm really upset, I really want to leave, and I'm just going to run my contract down. And uh, then I got an email, and I forget what they called it, but there's some clause. So it must be a legal ruling clause in the, in, in the, in the rule books uh, that a player can – choose to not sign a contract and then leave on a free in the last year of their contract, which he had wanted. He had pushed for the move last year. Nobody, nobody came in for him because he had the 14, $14 million release clause. Nobody came in at it. I've that clause has now expired and I have put him out there for nothing and nobody, nobody's making an offer on him. So you know, I was like, yeah, whatever. So I don't know what he's going to do, but let's get into this match and see if we can pull off a double upset episode. Uh, Andre Onana. Well, that's a familiar name. I think I had him. I think I had him with leads in my lead save a couple of years ago. Where did he come from? Ajax. Yeah, 
want to say that I did have him. Might have been a loan thing. Might have been a loan thing. Oh, well. Let's ask for that creativity. They get a couple of shots off target. And a set piece. And the keeper came out. Couldn't get to it. Perfectly placed ball at the back post. Davidson Sanchez, his fourth goal of the season. And we're down 1-0 in the 12th minute. That's that's rough. Can we demand more? Still looking for our first shot. We just don't want to get too out of kilter, and I don't want to go too attacking. Oh, that one goes high. Oh, let's check. I want to make sure those things that we did. Okay, that's not, that's reset. That's okay. I wanted to make sure that the late game changes had a uh, reset. They usually do. That's typically automatic, but just wanted to make sure. Well, there's a nice tackle by Ids. Our striker playing some winger defense out there, and then he just got toasted. <laughs> and that's not good. Oh, Tange Ndombele, second goal of the season. Luis Alberto with the assist. Uh, we're going to have to ask him for some passion now, fellas, and I think we're going to have to go up to positive. That might be going the wrong way. Might be going the wrong way. We do get a shot, though. Hey, moral victory. Moral victory. Kareg Mitchell, not enough touches in the penalty area. Struggled for possession. Let's see. Let's go to the dressing room. I mean, really, La, La Quintana's playing the worst, but, you know, 6'5". And, you know, yes, we are shooting for sevens, but honestly... Six and a half is not a poor game. That's that's an average game, right? So we're not playing poorly. Collins is anxious. Let's ask these guys to play a calm. And you. Uh, we want to go calm. Faith. And assistant. All right, there's a nice header down. Rogerio plays it through. Oh, and that was just, oh. On the golf course, we call that an Alice when you just don't put anything on it. Oh, Mitchell just bangs it over the top. Oh, that was a good good foot. I mean, he did a good job to get a foot in there. Popped away by La Quintana. Oh, Harry Kane. What the hell was that? Did you see his flip? That's like a UFC style flip. Let's see if we can see that. That's shoot. That's that's the highlight. I mean, the finish was really good, but no, they went away from it right before. Oh, well, you guys can go back and check that out if you missed it. He did some kind of like side flip. All right, nice ball to Collins. Uh. All right, I'm going to make a sub here. I'm going to pull Collins for Stewart. And let's bring Mitchell up and bring Wharton on. There's a nice ball into Collins again. And he gets this one in the corner of the net. Good positioning on that one right before we yank him off. His fourth goal of the season. See, if he would have done that last highlight, I would have kept him on. 
<laughs> but I'd already pulled the trigger on that move. All right, let's uh, let's demand more. Pressure, anxious. We've got a foul there, it appears. La Quintana. Oh, Harry Kane beats our back line. And he's just showing off today. Nomov is not looking good. I need some passion from him here. Looks like the power went out in the stadium, possibly. Mitchell into the box. Let's uh, let's make a sub here. Well, we've made two, so no, not yet. I mean, they they they've just been a better side. I mean, there's good tackle by Wharton. Good stab by Wharton. Oh, Ids cannot get to that one. All right, no mob gathers that one in. Throws it out. Oh my God, are you kidding me? What in the hell was that? Seriously? I mean, that's a pretty big screw up. That's, I mean, no, he was going for the corner of the net. All right. Just on principle. Just on principle. Got to get him out. Um, let's encourage. Because I don't know what else to do at this point. Offsides, please. Please? No. Onsides, and we are down 6-1. to one. Man, this is an ass kicking of the first order gee whiz I am just at a loss please don't score again that's just rude <laughs> call off the dogs eight shots six on target I, you know Five chances. Now that's the problem. We had five chances created and only one goal. They created three and got six. All right, that's that's not good. I'm going to be cautious. Far from pleased. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't I can't condone six goals. Can't 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 condone that. All right. Well, that puts us. 11th position we are on 10 points after seven matches which i chalk that as a win we're six points clear of relegation of villa brighton and newcastle so that's solid we just need to keep it up taking a look at the squad and goals so uh collins with four in six Three and three for Gavin Hamilton. Two and six for Craig Mitchell. Two and two for Leighton Stewart. One and five for Murphy. And Ids looking for his first goal. Is that accurate? That is accurate. Hmm. So the German's taken a little while to get bedded in. He hasn't played bad. Six five, six four. I mean, if I go after him on form, he's going to lose his shit. So you can actually talk to him about goal scoring in there. So that was the right call. So don't usually do that, but oh my gosh. So I did look, uh, as I told you last episode, I was going to look at the calendar. It looks like we've got three weeks left before the beta drops, at least when, when we think the beta is going to drop. So that gives us 
uh, 16, I think, I think I calculated, uh, 16 or 18 episodes. So I don't want to be rendering that last week. I just kind of want to take a break and get away from, from the computer for a week and not do anything other than, you know, respond to you guys on, on, you know, comments or anything. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to record between this week and next week. I'm going to try to record three weeks worth of content or two weeks, whatever will get us up to that point. And then I can spend that time rendering, putting up videos, which I'm usually three or four videos ahead normally. Cause I, as you guys know, I do the bulk of my recording on the weekends uh, when I'm away from work. But uh, I think this time we'll have, you know, I may end up being a week or more ahead and I'll try to have that, I'll try to get through two seasons here. That's the game plan based on the calendar, if that works out. If I'm a little off, I can carry over one or two episodes into the beta. I, I won't lose sleep over that. Uh, not a big deal. I just don't know if anybody will, if you guys will watch the last two episodes or whatever, if they carry over into FM21, because everybody wants to look at the new game. But... What I'm projecting is we'll do four games off camera, two games on camera. So we should be coming back for Man City and Liverpool. Hopefully we can pick up in these next three, we can pick up some points because, of course, that's going to be a pretty rough run there of five matches. And uh, we are struggling. So, uh, hey, big win against Chelsea. Oh, by the way, no, he is not there. Dang. All right. Luke, maybe we got him fired. No, he's been gone. He, he got sacked. That's good. Where's he at now? <laughs> That's incredible. So he got fired at Chelsea, went to Aberdeen as their under-18 coach for six months, then went to Preston for a year, and was sacked again. <laughs> and then Chelsea brought him back as their under-18 coach. Oh, that's... Mwah, that is just lovely. I love to see that. <laughs> Quit crying, Frank Lampard. All right, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, you know, he can laugh at us because we got outscored 12 to 10 to 2 in two matches uh, here recently. We've got to do better. I've got to see what we can do to shore up the defense. So we will play around with that over the next four matches. Guys, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you haven't done so or if you're new. Oh, and I did get a new subscriber the other day. Let me see if I can pull their name. Franchise Tags, I believe, is who it was. So Franchise Tags, welcome to the channel. And uh, we will see you guys next episode tomorrow. Take care. Bye.